Hello everyone, Ash here, and it's time for another Ash Talks. I'm going to do part two of the Sailor Moon being dubbed by Viz Media. I actually owe Viz Media an apology. I originally said that they like to overcharge for anime. Many people have actually said they don't do that. It's Amiplex. I decided to go ahead and look online at rightstuff.com a few other websites, and I was wrong. Viz, Viz Media does charge pretty good prices. I was actually really surprised how cheap some of their anime is. So to Viz Media, I apologize. I didn't. I should have looked a little more into this, but I didn't. I apologize for that one, and I was wrong there. So this does mean they're probably not going to overcharge for when they release the new Sailor Moon DVDs and stuff, and when they re-release Sailor Moon on Blu-ray. Now. Do I still do I still wish Formation had gotten the rights to Sailor Moon? Yes, I do kind of. I would have liked to have seen Funimation dub Sailor Moon, but at the same time, I do understand the complaints with Funimation dubbing them. They have a tendency to reuse their voice actors over and over again, and I can fully acknowledge that. And honestly, as I said, if they were going to do a dub of Sailor Moon, redubbing, especially with the new Sailor Moon anime, I did want to see uh, voice actors from come in that aren't Funimation. Like, I do want to see Steve Bloom come in, Crispin Freeman, and many others. But that being said, I do want, I would like to see a few Funimation voice actors come in to help do this dub of the Sailor Moon, especially for the new Sailor Moon anime coming out. I do want to see new voice actors. I want to see Monica Rowley come in to play Usagi. I still want to see her do that. And I am hoping for Crispin Freeman to play Tuxedo Mask. So I am hoping to see some of that. Will we get it? I'm not sure. I, we're going to know the cast soon enough, and I'm looking forward to seeing who they cast Sailor Moon, and I'm hoping Viz does a good job with this dub. I'm not the biggest fan of Viz dubs, as everyone knows. I always Their voice work at times has a tendency to overact or underact. Unless it's Inuyasha or Death Note. Those are the two dubs I actually really like from Viz. Everything else has always felt, it always feels like they either underact or overact with a lot of their dubs. And yes, Funimation does reuse their voice work, but their voice actors are really talented, and they do put a good effort in. But again, I mean, I'm hoping Viz does a good job with this dub. I'm definitely going to watch it when it comes out. As for um, the new Sailor anime, I'm going to be picking that up when they do release those on DVD or Blu-ray. Probably Blu-ray, I'll get those. As for the new old Sailor Moon anime, hard to say right now. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Sailor Moon anime. Don't get me wrong, I love the Sailor Moon mangas. Everyone knows I absolutely love the manga. The anime, oh god, it's as I said, it's repetitive. It just, they keep, the Sailor Moon anime will play the same damn episode over and over again. They do it like 15 straight times and it really irritates me, but that's why I'm looking so forward to this new Sailor Moon anime because they're going to fix a lot of those problems. I'm hoping... And this is going to be completely and totally uncut, too, so... Uh, they won't be cousins this time. And we will be getting the final season, which never came to the U.S. It's actually kind of funny, because I remember one of my friends strictly saying that they will never post the final season of Sailor Moon because it's guys turning into girls. I still remember that her saying that. Again, it's it just funny, it's funny because... I love rumors about crap like that, how it will never come to the United States because of the because guys train the girls. Yet again, I remember specifically people saying Dragon Ball GT would never come to the U.S. because it was quote-unquote too violent. Yeah. But we are going to get the final season of Sailor Moon. We're going to get all 200 episodes uncut. It's going to be interesting how they do this. A Blu-ray release. I'm hoping for when they do release this, it's like I hope they just release this in, like, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, and just release all the episodes, like, 25 episodes per season or something like that. Around there would be would be a nice thing to do. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Maybe we'll be getting those Sailor Moon purple box sets they have, those Japanese ones, the really rare ones. I know people want people want to get those, and Viz... I already know this. What Viz, one thing Viz is going to do, they're going to pretty much make this like their DBZ, where I, I think we will get the purple boxes, but I think they're going to be um, 
what the way the dragon boxes were individually like that. I could see that going down on a, maybe a Blu-ray set for maybe like 40 episodes a box or something of that nature. I could see going that, you know, Sailor Moon, Purple Box, set 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, or something of that nature I could see going down. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Again, I apologize to Viz. I was wrong about that, and I thank everyone for correcting me on that one. I mean that, Larry. I do thank you guys for correcting me on that, and I apologize for being wrong on that. And yes, I know Aniplex loves to really charge a lot of money for their anime. Anyways... It'll be interesting to see what happens with Sailor Moon going, being dubbed by Viz, and I fully expect we'll be seeing the new Sailor Moon anime to be hitting Toonami. Maybe I'll start watching Toonami again, because <laughs> I, God knows I stopped watching Toonami. Uh, yes, I stopped watching Toonami, but anyways. So, again, I was wrong about Viz overcharging, they don't do it. I apologize in advance, and hope you guys enjoy the new Sailor Moon anime redub. I will definitely give it a watch when it gets released. I'm not going to be a one-sided idiot about this. I'm definitely going to watch it. I am still at this point it wasn't Funimation, but hey, I am hoping they do put some Funimation voice work in there. I'm hoping that you know Viz says you bring Funimation, bring some voice actors in. We'll uh, give you a little bit of profit on this. You bring them in, you know, something of that nature. I'd love to see something like that happen because, like I said, I still want Mock Rally as Usagi. And I want Vic Mignogna in this series too. As I think, I forget which voice, which one I want him as, but I know I want Vic Mignogna and Chris Sabbath in this series as well to play certain voice work. Um, even Sean Chamel, I wouldn't mind seeing him do something. So yeah. Anyways, I'm looking. For, I am looking forward to the new Sailor Moon anime. And as far as Viz is concerned, I wish them the best of luck on this one. So, anyways, and ex I fully expect to see Johnny Young Bosch in this dub somewhere. You know Johnny Young Bosch is going to be, is going to play a role in this new Sailor Moon, in the Sailor Moon redub. You know he's going to be, they're going to put him as something. Now the question is, let's play a game. Where will Johnny Young Bosch voice, who will Johnny Young Bosch voice in the new, in the Sailor Moon redub? And let's see who, st and who will Steve Bloom voice in the Sailor Moon redub. Steve Bloom and Johnny and Bosch. I, I, I said before I'd love to see Steve Bloom do Artemis. I could just see Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom. I, hopefully I got his name right. Spike from Cowboy Bebop. I always see him as just being Artemis. I don't know why. But it will be interesting to see what goes down here. Anyways, you guys, who do you want to see for the redub? Comment below, let me know. Anyways, this is Ash saying so long. I'm out. Good night.